What's your battery like? Cool. Oh, hey, it's me. Cool. Welcome. I haven't done that in a hot minute. Oh, yes, I did draw an intro. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She's talking about things cool and stuff and whatever comes to mind. Enjoy the mess. Psh. So shower thoughts. Oh, okay, but at this point, this was like a month or two ago, maybe in December, um, you know, just some casual shower thoughts, getting into some deep um, conversation and thought with myself while I'm just like washing my hair and like shaving my legs and like fun things. And it was one of those rare times when by the time I got out of the shower and washed my face and all that stuff and made it out of the bathroom, I was still in thought. So what happens at that moment is I will go ahead and write it down to myself and just, you know, go through whatever... I'm going through in my head or whatever, you know? Maybe it's an idea. Maybe it's thinking about things that have happened. It's hypothetical thoughts. You know how thoughts work. I don't really need to explain thoughts per se. So I was like in the shower and I was thinking about trans stuff because like, you know, I'm a trans person. So like obviously that's all I can think about and like make videos about and uh. LOL JK, but also that's low-key the t but i was thinking about pronouns and at this moment i was specifically thinking about pronouns in public and how that relates to safety the main reason i was thinking about all this was because my grandmother had just went into the hospital and i was coming over to my mom's place where i'm still at currently um to help her out and that involved meeting new people because they just moved here and being in public more often because where I live is very rural and I like don't leave the house and there's like no one around so I don't really have to deal with the public a lot which is great for like my anxiety but also it kind of like feeds it it's a cycle so I was thinking about having the discussion of this mostly unspoken thing about pronouns in public for me and kind of my evolving relationship with pronouns to a degree. So I'm in the shower and I'm in my head and I'm going through the conversation of like I know everybody is chill but we're just gonna make it clear that in public we will exclusively be using she her slash they them whatever anyone feels more comfortable with whatever like those two options are great we're dropping like backs to the he hims and like specifically using those you know definitely with exclusivity in public and when meeting new people because that's a safety issue you know and i'll probably make a separate video on pronouns to keep this one from being too long and like like i said my evolving relationship with pronouns because i do feel it changing and it's all good like my family is all supportive at least like the family i'm around that i know of is chill and it's cool and all but it's still this really awkward conversation to have you know and to have to bring up and in a way I feel like even though everyone has voiced that they'd be okay with things like this that me having to voice and make a stance feels like I'm demanding something and like somehow making a spectacle and being a burden somehow even though I know all of that is wrong that's still the kind of weird waves and uneasiness that I feel about these types of conversations that are awkward and informing people of change and to go even further than that to inform people of changes that involve them that are my choice that I've chosen so naturally this brought me to what happened last year last summer I believe where Flarmp tried to ban trans people from the US military and said that trans people are a burden which rightfully led to swarms of people taking to the internet and you know screaming in posts trans people are not a burden and like that was a really cool thing to see and I'm sure it was good for a lot of other trans people to see support like that and while I'm hesitant to feel like all the people who were screaming about the trans ban have my back in the backs of all trans people like because I know a lot don't actually care and are only pretending to care because it's a buzzword and it's trendy to care about trans people to say you care about things like trans people and racism and sexism and xenophobia and on and on and on but then continue to perpetuate and hold up these systems and just in actuality not care at all it's a sign of progress whether real or not to see so many people upset at the idea of banning trans people from something like the military and then going further and labeling trans people in the military as a burden to the U.S. government, when even in the context of the budget, only a tiny percentage is actually spent on trans medical care. And without even getting into the topic. Me obviously disagreeing with the trans ban in the U.S. military does not mean that I want trans people to enlist per se, or that I support the military industrial complex or war, but I do know that a lot of trans people 
and people in general that have no other options join the military. And such a clear act of obvious discrimination should never be allowed, period. So back to the concept of me, little old me, being the biggest burden in the world. Sure, sometimes I feel like a burden. That me passing or not can be a dangerous situation for me and anyone that I'm around. Knowing that, knowing that my family knows that, knowing that I'm an extra thing that everyone has to think of, that there are things and situations that I just can't do because of who I am, that all of my stuff in some way also has to become all of their stuff. But I know that even when sometimes I feel like anything and everything I do is an inconvenience to someone and those around me, that I'm not a burden, I'm a person. And you know what the real burden of it all truly is? It's the world that we live in, where I have the burden to deal with all of this and still have the everyday life stuff that we all have to deal with. That our systems in place made it so a sexual predator and a racist, disgusting, I don't want to call you a human, and all the people with you was elected president and then our government. Living in a world destroyed by previous generations and greed and the people with the money to change it just wanting to burn it all to the ground to make more money because who needs a planet? Who needs air? Who needs water? The real burden of it all is living under white supremacist patriarchy and capitalism. So like I guess when I get all up in my head and my feelings and I listen to all the messages thrown at me and end up feeling like a burden somehow. I just remember that there are people who want to take health care away from millions and would rather vote against their own interests to try to make sure marginalized people don't have the same rights as them. And that's who the real burden is. <gasps> we come in peace, or at least destruction of the white supremacist patriarchy. Subscribe for new garbage whenever it gets posted. Social media crap in the description. Okay, bye. Also, like, politicians purchased by the NRA are, um... Definitely a huge burden to all of us. Why? Why would you think that you represent anybody except your wallet?